Yo, 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 what's up, little gentlemen? Welcome back to Bootsy Vex. You already know the vibe, you feel me? So, yeah, man, I know I haven't uploaded in a while now. It's been a minute since I did my last upload, but it's for a good reason. If you looked at my other analysis videos in the past, uh, past couple of weeks and stuff like that, you'll realize the quality of basically this camera that we're looking at now. The quality was like a little bit bad, you feel me? So I've just been waiting on something to happen, you feel me? I've just been upgrading the system, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't happy with the quality that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was happy with the content and stuff, but as far as the quality goes of my videos in the past couple of weeks, I wasn't really satisfied with the, how everything was coming out. But yeah, man, been upgrading the system and stuff like that. So if there's anything you guys are picking up from the videos, if you need me to improve on anything, anything, let me know in the comment section. I won't take it personal or I won't, you know, say my feelings won't be hurt. Basically. So welcome back to Boosie Max. You already know in the building, you know what's up. Uh, today we're gonna analyze. I want us to analyze uh, NAS 100 and US 30 in the building. You understand? So we're gonna analyze NAS 100 and US 80, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, scratch that. Let's analyze US, NAS 100 and US 500, right? Because basically, listen, I need you to pay attention to what I'm gonna say now, right? Let me guys tell you a little bit, a, li a little secret. So if you look at US 30, not US 30, if you look at NAS 100 and US 500, the way they move is very similar, right? So sometimes you might not find the structure on like NAS 100, né? but when you go to US 500, it's gonna show you, you're gonna find like a, a more a more revealing structure as to where the price might go. And you might use that to reference it to what will happen to NAS 100. I've been doing that for the past couple of months. My trades have been winning every time I did that, you understand? So sometimes when, when US 500 isn't giving you the proper setups and you want to trade us 500 then you must you can go to nas 100 you know say look for a structure there and depending on how it's looking if it's hinting at you where the price might go you can apply that to us 500 and still get the result but now why, why are we comparing these two why am i telling you about this correlation between these two things basically the type of like we're not coming to trade like everybody on the on the same level playing you understand some people want to risk more have 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 the capital to do that and some people don't have the capital to do that so the way to maneuver around the situation us 500 will give you well us 500 require like it has a basically let me put it like this nest 100 the way it hits your equity it's too much and us 500 tends to you know saying you won't you like it's very difficult to blow an account with us 500 so that's why i'm telling you like if you still scared of NAS 100 or blowing an account, rather trade US 500. It's the same thing, just like I'm telling you. It's just that on the equity, it's not as heavy on the equity like NAS 100 and stuff. So, yeah, you might. So, do with the information what you want. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm just here as the messenger. You know what I'm saying? Just here as the messenger. So, yeah, NAS 100, US 500. NAS 100, like I said, it's it's. NAS 100 is heavy in equities. If you can make a lot of money, you can lose a lot of money. US 500, same structures with NAS, but uh, to lose a lot of money is very difficult there. So it's, it's like a more tamed version of NAS 100. I bet. So let's go analyzing these things in the building. It's basically a Sunday. My boy just hit me up. Uh, it's coming from somewhere around Limpopo, you feel me? My boy DJ Nana is in the building. I'm sure you guys know know him from the Instagram and stuff like that. If you follow my Instagram, you know him and stuff. So, uh, I, sh I think we're gonna go out tonight. I definitely think we're gonna go out. So I need to make this video and put it out before I go out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to do. So now it's 100. Let's start with the daily time frame. Remember, always go from a higher time frame if you really want to see the direction and. If you want to see the direction over like an extended period of time, you know, say my advice would be look at NAS, look at the daily time frame instead of, you know, saying just trading H1 or H5. It's fine, you can still trade those things, but it's always good to know what's going on also on the lower time, on the higher time frames. Okay, so this trend doesn't really do much for us because <coughs> it's up there and the price is down there. We need something else. Okay, but this one now is chopping out our our chart. Understand? So if we can put it like this, it's still fine. 
technical analysis, ladies and gentlemen, the technical analysis in the building. Let's find the trend line at the bottom here. Okay. But there's... I'm seeing different types of trend lines, though. Let's see if I'm correct. If I'm not... Yeah, even this one. Even this one, though. But the price is... Ah, guys, the price is far away from these areas. You understand? The prices are far away from these areas and stuff. So I'm going to remove this one. We don't, it's not really relevant to what we're doing now. Uh, and then from the way it looks i had this descending channel within a descending channel as you can see it's like a descending channel wedge type of thing but yeah i had this descending channel here on inside of this one so it's structures within structures and that's something you're gonna have to get used to as you analyze or you trade within higher time frames you understand as you analyze from higher time frames, you start to see more structures within structures you understand so that just helps you to keep uh to understand basically how the market is moving over the long term because this is the thing right i want to explain this real quick so we can see this 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 uh descending pattern there it's a downtrend obviously and you can it's showing us like the parameters of how or where this thing is up is, is like you know what I'm saying how this thing is moving so we have the top trend line and the bottom trend line so the price is restricted between these two trend lines that's what i mean by parameter so now that we have these zones gosh, i need to pay this thing all right guys i apologize i apologize the last time you're seeing ads tomorrow you won't, you won't see no more trading view ads all right sharp so uh this is what's happening this channel this channel that we have here the main channel unless we get a breakout then the price will always obey these two trend lines meaning after, after it gets up here it might bounce and come back down that's how it helps us know the direction so now when you go to the h4 there's another structure you understand what i'm saying now there's another structure when you go to When you go to the thing yeah so when you go to the h4 you can see there's another structure which is another descending channel which had been uh as you this thing has been uh respecting the structure very nicely you understand i'm not gonna lie very nicely you can see you made contact one two three four five here we just like came really 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 close and then here it's only one two three break uh, so here there was a rejection and there was also a level i told you guys about levels man if you if y'all need more lessons on levels let me know in the comment section i'll make an in-depth on lessons on, on on thing on levels so yeah we have one two three four th on this level four points of contact and on this one we have one two three four five basically yeah so it's a they're both strong levels you understand so when the price came here, I knew something was going to happen when the price came up to this level and then obviously went down, came back. Now it seems like we are really breaking out, right? So if we're really breaking out, it's either we're going to come to reject here and then go back down or go back up. But if we go back up, if we go back up, then that means the price is coming back to this zone here. So... Yeah, if we, if we break out, it means the price is, is going to make its way up to this zone, this trend line that we have at the top. So what do we do now? It's not much, it's not much we can do right now. And I'll tell you why. There's not much we can do right now because we still have this level to clear. We don't know if it's just coming to retest and then going down. But if it comes and retests from the bottom, then we know. What that means you understand if it comes to retest from the bottom how do i draw so if it comes up and then comes to retest here and then goes back up then we know we can enter after retest you understand enter after retest uh meaning enter somewhere there like so you understand but we're gonna have to see a retest first of this level that's the thing that's the most important part of this we need to see a level being retested before we can just enter. I right, from so it's a boy Vusi Max. You already know the vibes. You feel me? Uh, there's gonna be a part two shortly after this one. You feel me? So stay tuned. 
go uh thing subscribe to the public telegram public uh discord links are in the description box below like i said i'm gonna be sending signals out there soon it won't be as much as uh in the lifetime i think in the lifetime memberships for signals and mentorship and stuff but i wanna i wanna definitely bring you guys more stuff like signals and setups and stuff like that you feel me let's go ahead i'll see you guys on the next one all right peace out